Hey everyone, Brian here. Today I'm at Koro again. I'm in their tasting room. You can see the flavor wheels as well as some aroma guides. And this is kind of very similar to what we're going to be doing. And what I'm talking to you guys about today is the Espresso Club. So what is the Espresso Club? Every single month, we in the Espresso Club, we're gonna go in and we're gonna go and find all these local roasters, whoever, you can volunteer. We're gonna try to make connections with them, try to facilitate some sort of deal for Espresso Club members. And we're going to get everyone the same exact coffee and everyone's going to try it, brew it. But basically, the Espresso Aficionados Discord, we have decided to create a club group of people who are just gonna try the same exact coffee every single month. We're gonna have a survey that allows you to fill out everything related to how did you brew it? What did you taste? Did you like it? Anything, any notes about the coffee itself. But really, we want to facilitate a nice community of people who are, well, if we're all using the same coffee, how can we brew it better? How was your, what was your dialing in process? The entire point of this is to just have fun. Right now, we are starting in the USA. There is a, also an Australian volunteer, but we need more help. We need your help. Please join the Discord, join the subreddit. And if you have a local roasting connection or a local roaster, local shop, who might be willing to participate in this type of event every single month, we would love to see them. Right now, we are looking at smaller roasters in order to help them because they're small businesses, right? Helping them with sales is, is great but it's also a great way for you to get in connection with your small roasters and learn the craft, to learn more about this cool hobby and industry of coffee. But really, it's a great way for us as a community and as enthusiasts to help facilitate some sort of collective coffee tasting thing here. We really want to be able to help each other in terms of dialing in, in terms of figuring out the coffees, and also explore new types of coffees, new types of blends that we may never have tried before. I'm really excited to see what happens here. Mainly, if we get a 20, 30, 40, 50 people trying the same exact coffees, what can we make of it from a surveying and data perspective? Is there any way to make sense of taste? That's really what interests me. And I think it'd be really cool too, to also sort by equipment, see what everyone's using, see what did people taste with certain types of equipment. And I'm really happy that we as a community are coming together and just trying to make sense of this all. But also at the end of the day, we are going to be supporting some of our local small businesses. Please join the Discord, come in, chat with us. There's a lot of people in here. There are also a fair amount of memes. If you do want to make an order for the Espresso Club, make sure you join the subreddit. We'll approve you. And then we'll, you know, you'll be able to see what the monthly coffees are. We'll even have votings on the monthly coffees as well as that's where you'll take the survey and you'll also find a discount on the coffees. I really hope this is going to turn into something very fun. We're all volunteering here. Huge shout outs to Jeremy as well as Jordan of the Espresso Discord. We are all kind of setting this all up together just because we kind of want to see what happens. Uh, it's really exciting when the community, at least an online community, comes together and we're able to make sense of our hobby or improve our hobby in some sort. We're gonna be featuring Cosmic Dust Coffee Roasters, Sari Sky. You may have seen a previous video where we go and roast a bunch of coffee with Jenny, but she's right here at the at co -Ro roasting orders for our first monthly coffee. It's Sari Sky, which is an Ethiopian yoga chef. I actually think this is a very good coffee that is incredibly approachable to a lot of people because it's more medium roasted. For me, I like to use it in my milk based drinks. It actually pairs really well. But what's really cool with this particular Yuri Chef is the fact that it's fairly adaptable across the board with almost all brewing ranges. So I like it as an espresso. Try it out as a pour over. Try it out as anything. Let us know what it tastes like. That is the entire point of the tasting survey. And I think it'll be a lot of fun. I'm very excited because for me as an enthusiast, it's just very fun to share local coffee brands and local coffees with, well, you guys. And I kind of want the same thing to happen from your end. If you're watching this and you want to volunteer, you want to maybe be a regional coordinator, say the USA or wherever country, you know, we'll need to sort that out. Uh, I would love to talk. Join the Discord and then message the moderators of the subreddit and we'll get you set up. We'll figure it all out. But the entire point here is this, we're just trying to make a community of people who try the same coffee and see if you like it or not. 
it'll be a lot of fun and I'm super excited to see what happens next. For now, let's go ahead and take a look at what Jenny's doing because she's actually roasting our first monthly February coffee which is Cosmic Dust Series Sky. Behind me is Jenny that you saw in the previous video and she's currently roasting the Series Sky for you guys. So now I'm just gonna kind of go in and show you what's happening. <laughs> nice. As you'll notice, having a between batch process has been really the key to doing this, is that you can do back-to-back -back roasts where she'll just drop the beans to cool them, and then she'll be, right after she does that, she then just puts in the new set of beans, and the new set of beans is all pre-weighed, so the roast profiles are basically the same across the board. And this really ensures that the workflow is a lot more efficient and a lot faster to do back-to-back -back roast to produce a lot of uh, beans in one roasting session. So those beans just finished cooling and then she just emptied them out. Now she's finishing up the other, uh, the other beans that, were, that she dropped earlier into the roaster then those will be cooled and then the process repeats until she's done with all the beans that she brought today to roast. Oh, there we go.